This week in the Missouri Senate, we preview Missouri's fiscal year 2019 operating budget. Took the Senate's position on a lot of stuff. The House is very good to work with, too. Protect our vulnerable young kids in unlicensed in-home daycares. The new fiscal year starts on July 1st. Senator Mike Cunningham of Rogersville, who serves on the Missouri Senate Appropriations Committee, says they put together a balanced budget. We did fully fund the school formula for two years in a row now. We restored some cuts that had been made to higher education. He adds lawmakers want to help small business. Economic development, we did some things trying to encourage some more development here in the state of Missouri. Department of Corrections, uh, and we're one of the lowest paid states. I think we were 47th at one time. In actual pay, now we're high on benefits, but in pay, we're able to get them some money, help our prison systems like that and increase. Senator Cunningham also says they added funding for nursing homes. $8 $8 per day to each nursing home patient that they had. And that's not going to put them in real good financial shape, but it sure is going to help them a lot. But Senator Jill Shoup of Creve Coeur says other priorities could have been made in the budget. For instance, new rules for daycares. What just happened in Wentzville during this past year was that we lost another young child in an unlicensed daycare center. I call it a center. These are children who are being watched in people's homes. But in this particular home on this particular day, the provider had 18 children who are under school age. There were two other adults in the house. Of those children, seven of those 18 were unrelated to any of the adults in the home. She adds implementing the Missouri Non-Discrimination Act would greatly benefit the state. It is time in the state of Missouri to say to people, regardless of who you love, we will protect your rights, regardless of any kind of a public accommodation, we will protect your rights. We're residents and citizens of our state. We care about you. We should not get involved with who you love, where you want to live. This should all be open and accessible to you. Senator Shoup also says tax cuts seem to be coming from everywhere, but only benefit a few. And particularly the kind of program going on at the federal level that will lower taxes for the very wealthy among us, leaving out those who can afford to pay taxes the least, or bringing them in for a short period of time and ending those taxes, but continuing to cut corporate taxes. You know, this theory of trickle-down economics, we haven't seen it work. Lowering taxes on corporations mean corporations will have a bigger bottom line, which feeds the people at the top of those corporations. Missouri's fiscal year 2019 operating budget totals $28 billion. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.